so hard. Rick Brown. challenge on the court and that's the most important thing is us going out on the court and playing well and trying to get a win so you know, I have a mixed emotion from that perspective because I know they're a good team they're going to be a huge challenge but the, the welcoming that, that's going to happen and seeing everybody saying hello it's been special. Were you, were you curious how this was going to go? No. Confident yeah. from the start? I wasn't really curious one way or the other. I naturally assumed it was going to go this way, but I wasn't sitting there wondering. I wanted to make a share. I wanted to, you know, we, we had a lot of uh, success here, and uh, as uh, Jeff Cockett wrote in his article this morning, you know, the franchise was at an all-time low, and I was fortunate enough to get the call to get the job, and we had a young core of guys that really wanted to win, and uh, they allowed me to coach them so that they could grow and, and learn how to win. Why they were where they are, but they, so, they wanted it. What did you do with your day? Oh, it was a very interesting day. We had our breakfast meeting and I went home. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to go house home. Okay? I didn't get to go home last okay. night. No, it was all, it's all good. But uh, the weather's a lot nicer than it was in New York and that. And also when we were in Milwaukee, <laughs> you know, so it was good. I've only been over here one time, and that was when I was with the Bucks. And I, I don't remember, it was so long ago, I don't remember how to do that. Did you uh, finally get to drive your car yet? I did, and I drove it back. I saw uh, Tim walking up the street, but I couldn't figure out where the horn was. <laughs> <laughs> you were just a honk, you weren't going to take them up, right? No, they were right in front of me. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, that would be you, Ron. <laughs> Coach, have you had a chance to talk to some of your players, your Not former players? I've gotten here. I, I, I texted uh, Mark when he was named uh, All-Star and congratulated him. And, uh, you know, I saw them all in New York when we played in New York. And New York wasn't as emotional as here because it's not only the players, but it's also the fans and the community, which is going to make this a, a more emotional game. Do you know how to keep the motions in check for you? Do you have to go out there and maybe just... Right, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's, 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 you know you, you, if you know me like you know me, you know that I'm probably going to cry. So get your little phone camera out. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, yeah. how, is, how is this year's Grizzlies team have been so successful? Well, they successful the way they've always been successful. They get after you defensively, they bang you around, they play their pace. And they still have um, the horses. I think the, the, the emergence of Mike Conley on even another level has really had. He's carried him a lot of nights nice by his own play. Just the other night when they were playing, you know, everybody was struggling to score. He took over the game and, and basically won the game with a little help from Kofis. Uh, so, you know, they have Mark who scored at a higher just, you know, being more aggressive, might be more aggressive. And then they, you know, the pieces that they've added are when you talk about Courtney Lee and Vince Carter and uh, Bano Udre, and then the, the addition of Jeff Green. I mean, that makes them a, a solid team overall. But, uh, you know, they still go out there, and, as Tony Allen said, they grit and grind. 
time on you said that, you know, Mike is involved in everything you thought he would be in then some. He had the he had the physical capabilities, but he also had the mental capabilities to be more than he was showing. And you know, just a little urgent as Tony says, everybody thinks that, that I was uh, sweet to Mike, but you know, Mike's face probably was burning from all the you know yelling and screaming I was doing. But, but Mike, you know, to his credit, he was a man about it. He wanted to be better. He wanted to win. And, so it got to a point where I never had to say anything to Mike. He would tell me what he was going to do. And I was like, I like that. And we started thinking on the same page. And he moved into the leadership round where the other players respected his decision. And now he's leading them a little bit more with his scoring. So, you know, Mike's become a, a very, very good basketball player. One that I thought should have made the All-Star team this year. Well, still, uh